Hi, this is Di, the Bass Play Mom, and today I want to talk to you about earplugs. I know that I have talked to you before about in-ear monitors, and we will talk about those again, because, you know, I need new ones. But today, we're going to talk about earplugs. Let me grab them. So this is something that, as a musician, you probably already carry, or should be. And so you need to have some earplugs on you, and I carry mine in this tin from Archie McVie's, a gift shop out of Seattle. I'm not listening, earplugs. Now, the earplugs that came with it are this foamy kind. And you've probably used that kind before because that's the kind like people sleep with if they operate heavy machinery. But that's not the kind of earplugs that makes a noise. That's not the kind of earplugs we're talking about today. We're talking about musicians' earplugs. And that's what I carry on me is musicians' earplugs. These are the earplugs. These are the Heroes rock and roll earplugs. You can tell that they're Heroes because it's got uh, a star on the end, which is the logo for Heroes. It is Heroes, H-E-A-R-O-E-S. Get it? Cute. They're heroes, but they're also for hearing. So those of you who know me know that I have had a chronic headache for several years. Like, I think it's five years now that I've had a headache. And I know that sounds wonky and it can't be true and it must go away sometimes, but it doesn't. And so when I have a headache, it's hard for me to listen to loud music. And as a musician, man, you gotta protect your ears. Like, that's not a cool thing to mess up your ears. You need your ears to work. And I had surgery on this ear, and so I'm really um, particular about what I'm hearing because I don't want to mess up my hearing. It means a lot to me. As a musician, you need to hear. And what part of hearing well is protecting your ears from loud noises. And as a musician, you're in situations with loud noises all the time. I love to go to shows. I do that right now. But I love to go to shows. I like to go to gigs. I like to go to rehearsals where we're playing with uh, floor monitors instead of in-ear monitors and those are all times that I will put in earplugs. I will also put them in if I'm getting a headache and I'm feeling a little bit noise sensitive. I'm not usually noise sensitive but on the occasion it is nice to have a good pair of earplugs. Now these are the kind of the plunger type, the flanges that come out like that in cups and they stick into your ears and create a seal like this. Easy peasy. And so they create a great seal. Oh gosh, I can't hear you now. But the thing is, these are designed so you can still hear. You just don't hear as much. I think the low end gets a little muddy. Uh, cymbals don't sound as good. But when I have them in, I can tell the difference that I'm not damaging my hearing. I don't leave gigs going, oh, I can't hear my voice, or I, you know. I can hear because I had these in. I was going to talk about them being in my gig bag, but they're not because I carry them with me 24 hours a day. Like, if I have a bag with me, it's got my little container and it's got my earplugs in it. Now, sometimes when I travel, I'll put a pair of those foamy earplugs I'll put a pair of foamies in here too, and I use those for when I sleep. You can't use these for sleeping because you could poke your ear when you roll over on your side, but I do use them when I fly to avoid the noise when I'm flying. Do you have earplugs? Do you use them if you're a musician? If you're not, if you're just a general person who doesn't want to blow out your hearing, do you wear earplugs? Try to always wear two because you'll turn up the music too loud on one side compensating. So it's just, it's a thing. You should try to wear two earplugs. The same thing goes with in-ear monitors. Make sure you have two in, two headphones. Just take care of your ears, man. It's really important. You don't want to be that guy at the gig who can't tell what's going on. Or when people are trying to give you directions and you can't hear what they're saying, you'll be glad you took care of your hearing. Anyway, I've heard stories of musicians who have lost their hearing over the years from the sound of, you know, the ambient noise from amplifiers on stage and stuff. And so that is something you've got to take care of. You've got to take care of your ears. If, if you are not wearing in-ear monitors, make sure you have earplugs in. I know I've had other musicians on stage say, why are you wearing earplugs? I'm a bass player. 
I am like standing next to the drummer. And sometimes I'm playing with young drummers who are hitting the drums as hard as they possibly can. Sometimes I'm sitting with kind of pro drummers that are hitting the drums as hard as they can. And so that noise is gonna go through my head before it gets to the rest of the worship team or the band. So it's important that I protect my ears. I was playing a gig in a very small venue. In fact, the setup was about the same size as this room. So the drummer was set up and I was right against the wall. Like I'd be against that wall there, but it was a door. Anyway, I was like up against the door. The drummer was about here and I was up against the door. And every time he hit the snare, I could feel my eardrum poke in. That was where I first got tipped off about wearing musicians earplugs. They are different than the complete noise canceling earplugs. You can still hear, you can still perform. It's not perfect, but it's better than losing your hearing. And I was really at risk. Actually, I think it was on this side. Every time you hit the drum on this side, it would ricochet, the sound would ricochet off that door and go to my ear and I could feel my eardrum going in and out. Like, not worth it. No gig is worth losing your hearing. So make sure you have some earplugs you carry with you. That's my advice. Do you have earplugs? Do you swear by them? I know there's much fancier, higher tech musicians earplugs that are way more expensive. Those were under $20. They're the Heroes Rock and Roll earplugs, but I know there's fancier brands who make little fancy earplugs you can wear to shows and stuff. Let me know down below what you use, why you like them, and what should I try next? Here's a playlist I made of videos about gear if you're interested in gear, and here's a video YouTube thinks you would really enjoy.